Good morning, fourth grade, or good afternoon. I will just read the article for science and go through the assignment. Things that show and things that don't. Alleles inherited, dominant, recessive. Romeo and Juliet are having a baby boy. They are trying to guess who the baby will look like. Romeo has brown eyes and black hair. Juliet has blue eyes and blonde hair. Will their son look like his mom or his dad? Will he look like both of them? Maybe he won't look like either of them. Now, two people are exactly alike. Our bodies have many different parts, and each part is built in a different way. As your body grows, it needs directions to tell all of these parts how to grow. Picture your body as a library full of books. Each book in the library has instructions for a different body part. There is a book for eye color, a book for nose shape, a book for hair color, a book for ear shape, and so on. Scientists call each one of these books a gene. Every person has almost 25,000 genes. This means that your library has 25,000 books of directions for your body. Genes make us look the way we do. Most people look like their parents because they get their genes from their parents. Each of our parents have their own set of genes or library of directions that make them look the way they do. When two people have a child, the child gets half of each person's genes. Just as we got our genes from our parents, they got theirs from their parents. Genes are passed down through families, from grandparents to parents to children. Inherit means to have something given to you by your parents. When your mom decides to give you her piano, you have inherited the piano from her. However, even though she gave you that piano, you might not play it like she plays it. In the same way, having your parents' genes does not mean you look completely like them. We can only guess what Romeo and Juliet's son will look like based on the stronger and weaker chapters in their books and directions. In truth, the way we look is not that simple. It takes many different genes acting together to make a body look the way it does. There might be five different books that have directions for your nose. Romeo and Juliet's son could have either one of his parents' nose or a mix of each, or it could be completely different. He might even have his great uncle Melvin's crooked nose. It all depends on what sets of directions he gets, how they mix together, and which ones are weak or strong. There is a video to watch about inherited traits. It uses this mechanism called a Punnett square. Um, she uses some words in that video that we haven't covered. Just get familiar with those words. They are listed here. You don't need to memorize these words. They are just to help you understand um, Punnett squares and how genealogy works. You are just going to do a survey for your assignment today and receive credit for completing the survey. Here are the directions for the survey. We are going to take a survey of you and your classmates on what genes you have or what phenotypes you have, what appearances you have, features. So you are going to return to the assignment in our Google Classroom and take a survey. Once you submit the survey, you will see the results from our class. If you are one of the first few, you won't see many results. So come back and check the survey out on Saturday, and I will post the charts in our slideshow on Monday when everybody should be finished with the survey. When you submit the survey, this will be credit for the assignment. We're going to ask you questions about what types of genes you have that you present with. For any questions, just send me an email. Happy e-learning.